the search continues for my next new to me RV. And I'm taking you with me. Time to check out another Class B. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. David, aka RV Jedi, and uh, it is a uh, early cold morning, um, but it is an eventful morning because I am going to check out another RV, uh, another style of RV. This is going to be another Class B, uh, and it's a Winnebago Travado. Uh, I'm a Winnebago guy. I really love those. Uh, so this is going to be really interesting to see one of these up close and personal. Now, what makes this one particularly special for me is that it is the um, uh, it is the RV of a friend of mine, um, my friend Janet, who I grew up with uh, back east in Massachusetts, Brookline to be exact. Uh, we went to uh, grammar school and high school together. Uh, I haven't seen her in years, so it'll be great to catch up with her as well. When I moved out here to Seattle, found out that we were in the same neighborhood or same part of the country, and found out that she was really uh, into RVing as well, has the Travato, uh, has offered uh, me a chance to look at it up close and personal. I never had a chance to do it. Uh, made the time today. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out and, and see what a Winnebago Travato is all about. Maybe that could be uh, the type of RV for me next. You know I love uh, a Winnebago. You know I love a, a tinier uh, footprint. Um, and uh, if I could afford one, a Class B would be great. So I'm very excited to see what this one is all about. All right, so I caught up with Janet. Now we're gonna get a tour of her Travato. It is absolutely fantastic. All right, Janet, so uh, how'd you get into RVing? Um, well, we had a sticks and bricks kind of vacation house that we were spending so much time just fixing uh, that we thought, you know, there's got to be a better way to relax and enjoy ourselves. And so we sold it and we started with an R pod and a truck. We towed for a couple of years um, and we decided that was too hard for us. Um, probably not for most people, but for us. And then we decided we wanted a van. We decided that the Class B probably is something that we could handle. All right, so take me on a tour of the okay. Travato. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay, so we we researched a lot of Class Bs, um, and we found just our personal uh, preference was that we didn't want something that was closed, you know, that mm -hmm. felt dark. Uh, so, you know, doing our own build was kind of out because we thought that that was, uh, well, one, we're not that handy. <laughs> uh, but two, all the, all the build out seemed to be a little bit uh, more closed off. So we opted for the Travato 59K. And uh, if you want to go in, what we liked about it is that it has windows oh, on, yeah. on both sides. And not only windows, but you can open them up and you have like this beautiful breeze mm -hmm. coming through in the summertime. Um, so we opted for the K model. It comes in uh, two floor plans, the okay. K and the G. Um, the G has a corner bed and we don't like corner beds. They're very hard to get in and out of. <laughs> um, but this uh, twin bed model, you can make into one big um, almost queen size 
uh, or you can keep them apart. And we keep them apart because, you know, we just like a straight access to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go in the bathroom, it's a back end bathroom. So it's a little bit bigger. It's a wet bath. Um, okay, now I got to ask you about a wet bath. A yeah. lot of folks are mixed about those. What do you think? Um, not a problem. No, yeah. not a problem. I mean, the one thing that I, I, yeah, it's not a problem. We, um, we installed, we did a lot of mods that are now standard in newer models. So ours is a 2019. Okay. Um, so some of the mods that we added was we added the shower curtain that goes around. Is this it? Uh, no, oh. the shower curtain's inside the van. Oh, oh, up yeah, here. The, Okay. Yeah, 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 that rail. Um, we added this lagoon style table. So all a lot of these things are standard now. Yeah. So this is a 2019? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It also comes in um, a lithium oh, battery okay. model. This is not a lithium battery model. This is an AGM. Now your kitchen area looks kind of nice. Yeah, so we have a, a sink. This is a little dish rack that comes with it. Two burner stove. Uh, we have, this fridge is surprisingly large. It looks like a college style yeah. fridge, but it goes way back. Oh, wow. And we can fit um, easily a week's worth of food. Okay. And uh, this is a microwave confection oven. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then do, uh, do I guess, just one seat nope. swivels around or they both? They both swivel, so you can use this kind of airport type table. And then this one comes out for this one. Um, but yeah, they swivel. And then how hard is it to drive? Easy. <laughs> easy, easy to drive. Like a minivan. Wow. For sure. It looks like there's a lot of storage up here too and yeah so we have the pizza oven we added this shelf this was another mod okay um, oh nice though we um we usually put our shoes up here um and then there's cabinets all the way yeah all the way across and then there's a wardrobe back here and then three drawers oh okay yeah. Plus, I don't know if you saw this uh, sink. Oh, is that the one that folds down? Yeah, yeah. this is the nice. sink that folds down. Yeah. Storage is not an issue. Yeah. Um, in addition to all of these cabinets, uh, there is the under the bed. I'm going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> there is all of this under the bed. Oh, okay, nice. So we've got our... Lawn chairs, we have an outside table, some cables. Um, we kayak a lot, so um, our, our um, life preservers and mm -hmm. or, uh, paddles go in here too. Yeah. yeah. Have you had any major, uh, I don't know, issues or anything while you were um, in this rig at all? Or has no. it? No. Yeah. No. In fact, I don't know. I, I kind of think... I've heard some people had issues with later models. I think during the pandemic, they were really trying to crank out Class Bs. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe quality slipped a little bit, but we bought our um, 2019 right before the pandemic. And honestly, nothing. Okay. It's been great. So here's the easiest question. Yeah. What advice would you give somebody, let's say, Oh, like me, you? looking for a, a, a new rig uh, and is considering a Class B. Um, I think a Class B is, it's, it's perfect for us. Um, I think you should figure out what kind of traveler you are. Um, some people are what I guess what I would call campers, where they like to bring everything to their camping destination unload, spread out, sprawl out, um, and, and hunker down for and enjoy nature for a week or so. Uh, we are what I think we call travelers, where we go to a destination, we hike and explore for a couple of days, mm -hmm. and then it's time to move on to our next destination. So a class B makes us a little bit more nimble to mm -hmm. do that. 
um, and we don't need a lot of space. So it works for us. So there you have it, a tour of a Winnebago Travado. Uh, thanks to Janet. Um, I, first of all, just love catching up with her. Haven't seen her in a long time, but we realized we've known each other for like 54 years. So that was really cool. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been looking at a lot of different kinds of RVs. Uh, again, I'm a Winnebago guy, so I really like this one. This now is gonna make things a little bit more difficult uh, for me because I really like the layout of this rig and this could be perfect for me. What do you think? Let me know. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on my website at rvjedi.com. Get out there, enjoy yourself, get ready. The RV season uh, for this year is almost here depending on where you live. Um, and this could be a big year for me as I look to find my next new to me RV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.